Well, greetings, everyone. PGC cameras are getting really popular for things like live streaming, but they do have other uses, like video conferencing. If it's just you on a video conference, the webcam on your laptop is probably more than enough. But if you have a whole room full of people uh, that you want to bring in to, say, a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting, um, or if you're doing some kind of training where you're going to have a presenter, having a more robust camera solution can be really helpful. Um, and especially having a PTZ that will allow you to move and shift the focus um, of the camera to, say, whoever it is, uh, is that is talking. There are a couple of different ways um, to, to accomplish this. Um, the simplest way is most PTC cameras, including our Honey Optics on the table behind me, um, have, an, uh, have USB out on them. And typically you can just plug the USB um, into the back of your computer and your computer will recognize it as a webcam. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, but there's actually another option uh, that is a little bit uh, more complicated in a way, but also provides a lot more options and opportunities for you and how to use it. And that would be connecting uh, between your camera and your uh, computer over NDI. So first, let me head over to the computer and show you both. All right, here we are on my computer. I've gone ahead and pulled up Zoom. Um, again, these instructions will work for Zoom or Teams or whatever. Now, if I go into the video section, hey, you can see the camera that is selected is UHD camera. That is um, one of the cameras here on my desk, uh, this one. Uh, and uh, it is connected over USB um, into my computer. And my computer just sees it like any other USB camera would. So that works and it just works um, and is not it's helpful, but maybe not as interesting as one of the other things you can do um, if you have an NDI capable camera. Um, and that is you can actually use NDI um, as a webcam on your computer. So to show you that I'm going to exit out of here. If you don't know, uh, you can visit NDI.tv, um, go into the tools, and go ahead and download the NDI tools um, for Windows or, or Mac, whichever one you have. Uh, these are free to download. And uh, once you've done that, they will install. And you'll get something like this. Welcome to NDI tools. And you can see there's a number of things you can do um, with NDI. We might cover some of those in a future video. Uh, but in this case, we're interested in this one right here, webcam. So um, if we load up webcam, um, it's actually already loaded. <laughs> um, it, it will put something in your system tray down here. So I can pull it up and here we go. Um, and now you can see uh, it's showing me which camera it's connected to. It's connected, so it's connected to the other um, camera that's on my desk, which is not connected to this computer through USB um, or connected to this computer in any way at all, um, other than the fact that they're on the same network. Um, and of course, you can click here um, and change to a different camera, a different NDI source if you want to. So now, with this app running, what that's going to do is if we bring up Zoom again and go to video, and then select NDI webcam video one uh, from uh, the source selection. It's going to take a second uh, to get itself all connected and figured out. And there you go. Um, so now we're using this camera over NDI um, as the video source in Zoom. Using NDI also introduces another option for you uh, because you can also use additional NDI tools um, at the same time. So while this video is running uh, in Zoom, I can open up my NDI tools. Oop. There we go. And bring up what's called Studio Monitor. So and Studio Monitor kind of does what you think it does which is it helps you let you monitor your video. So we can come in here. We can pick the camera we want to use, which I believe is camera one. Yes, it is. All right. So you can see I've got this is the video set up in Zoom. You can see here I am um, controlling, uh, previewing it in the preview as well. Uh, by bringing it up in the preview, I also get access to um, 
the PTZ controls um, as well. If you're doing it on uh, the USB version, you're going to have to use probably the remote um, or a separate controller to control the PTZ. But if you use this, you can actually say, zoom in. I can zoom out. And I can move it around. All right, well, I hope you see how simple and easy that was to do. Uh, the USB option is really, truly just plug and play. Um, and of course, most PT PTZ cameras come with a remote, so you can use that to control if you like. Um, the NDI solution takes a little bit more work, uh, but it's not overly complicated by any means, and it does introduce um, some different options for you, um, including being able to um, have the computer where all of this is being controlled, um, you know, elsewhere in the room or maybe in a different room um, altogether, uh, if that's what you want to do, um, and if you want just to have an operator kind of running all that stuff. That might be a bit much for some smaller meetings, but certainly if you're um, doing a, a Zoom for like a training or class work or something, um, having somebody be able to do that uh, in that way um, can be really handy. You may be wondering about audio. Uh, most PTZ cameras um, don't come with like microphones or anything like that built in, typically because they're often really far away or fairly far away um, from the subjects that they're looking at. Have a bunch of different options for that. One of my favorite is actually to get one of these. This is a Bluetooth speakerphone. Um, and uh, this particular one's by Anchor, but they make all sorts of them. It connects to your computer over Bluetooth. Um, it has a battery, so it's battery powered. Um, and it just works like, um, a, 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 like a speakerphone, like you would expect a speakerphone to work. Um, and it provides not only a microphone, um, so audio input, um, it can also serve as the speaker um, for your computer, so audio output. Um, that's actually a nice way to do it in a video conference setting because people tend to want to talk to where the sound is coming from. So if they're hearing people um, from the speaker, uh, people will naturally want to talk to the speaker uh, when uh, they are responding, and that gives you a much higher quality experience. So pairing one of these guys um, with one of those guys, uh, the PTZ cameras, you can have yourself a really amazing uh, system for um, video conferencing, uh, even in large spaces. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. Um, please check out our channel for all of our content there, and don't forget to like and subscribe.